Okay, you guys, it's gonna be a long one. So get your snacks, get your drinks, come back, and we're gonna do this unboxing, okay? Okay, I am back with my scissors and my box. Big, big box and my drink. We're gonna have a party, you guys. We're gonna have an unboxing and first impressions party. Cheers. Okay, so, um, I'm not sure where I bought, where did I buy this even? Fragrance buy? Perfume online? I don't know. We'll find out. I bought so much stuff lately. I bought stuff from fragrancebuy.ca, I bought stuff from perfumeonline.ca, so I don't know which one this is. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to edit this. Ah, fragrance buy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Fragrance buy. They don't put it here. They put it on the sticker. And I still don't, this doesn't help me because I don't remember what I ordered where. Uh huh. This is, this is real unboxing. Like, I haven't done this before. This is brand new. You guys are in it with me, okay? Here we go. So, they were having a massive sale and I thought, why don't I buy a bunch of stuff? Some stuff that I've had before and haven't had in many, many years. Some stuff that's brand new and not in stores yet. Some like random stuff, some samples, some testers, some whatever. So let's get going. The first one, oh, by the way, there's a few men's in here, I think, but mostly it's women's fragrances. So the first one is a tester. It's Hugo Boss Deep Red. This one I had, actually, I don't think I had this one. A friend of mine had this. And I really wanted it, but I never ended up getting it because I didn't have a lot of my own money and I told my parents to get me this one and they got me Red Intense instead, which was also good, but I always wanted this one and I never had it. So I wonder if I still like it the way I used to. Let's find out. So it's a tester, so it doesn't have, um, use your words, a lid. Hmm. It smells familiar, you know, but I can't tell yet if I like it. It's so nostalgic. It's so like, you know, when you smell something that you smelled years ago and you don't know if you like it anymore, but you just want it because you, you remember the smell and you want to smell it again. Like, it's like that. I think I like it. I don't know. But it smells nice. It's like, it's the same way I feel about... Versace blue jeans like I'll cover that in another video but that one for me is like just a weird nostalgic high school sense that I just want to always smell and I still don't know if I really like it or not but it just makes me feel good and this is one of those I just like it I don't know I think I like it I'll let you know later but it's it's like a vanilla-y and like orangey and something I think it's blood orange in there I think that's what's the unique orange smell in here it's different, like, I don't smell a lot of fragrances quite like this. Anyway, that's uh, Hugo Boss Deep Red. And we're going to put it away, and we're going to move on to the next one. By the way, I got these, I went into Shoppers earlier today because I had to send a package at the post office. And I went and I got a bunch of these little papers so I can spray. So, Hugo Boss Deep Red is going back in the box. The next one, I think is also a tester. I actually don't know what's in here. Let's open it and find out. And this is, oh, this is Queen Latifah, Queen of Hearts, I think. Let me see. Yeah, Queen of Hearts. This was $11, you guys, $11 on fragrance, but like, how do you not buy this? And um, so, yeah, also I heard that it's like an ambery, warm kind of, I think it's got myrrh frankincense as well. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to smell like boyfriend, which I reviewed in another video, but I, I'm like expecting something in that family. Anyway, here we go. Ooh, but it's brand new. It's sharper. It's not as good as boyfriend. It's more cinnamon. 
it's got more spices and it's um I don't know if I like it honestly I don't know it's weird it's got spices it's got some like like it smells a little bit like cooking spices like a uh, like, you know, like if you open grandma's spice cabinet and it's got that woody smell and like some spices that have been like sprinkled on there for a while, but also mixed with perfume. That's what it smells like. I think I have to wear this on the skin. I'll give it a go. But anyway, whatever. It's $11. Like, I don't feel bad. Next. Hang on. Let's get back in the box. Get back in the box, queen. Okay. Oh, Banana Republic, Peony and Peppercorn. I'm pretty sure this is from their brand new collection because I've tried to go into the store and sample these and they don't have them. And I bought the um, Gardenia and Cardamom earlier and I loved it. And I generally love Banana Republic fragrances. So I thought like this is going to be amazing. And I think this one was about $40. Anyway, yeah, it's still got the plastic on it. I don't know how these places get access like do you guys know how does like fragrance buy get banana republic before banana republic gets it like how i i don't understand can you guys please leave a comment below and let me know how it's possible um the same thing i saw it on max aroma but i still haven't seen it in banana republic so like what is this anyway here's the nice box everything's so pretty and pink it's heavy like, their bottles, I love their bottles. They're so heavy, and their lids, oh, man. Like, look at this. Like, it's on there. I can't smell it out of here. I'm going to spray. Oh, you better be good. You better be good. Don't let me down, banana. Yeah, it's springy. It's got, like, I get that little pepper kick. There's a little pepper kick, but it's floral. It's very nice. It's very, um, like, it's very fresh and clean, but, like, a little bit unique, you know? Um, but not offensive, because that's the thing, is when it's unique, it's offensive sometimes. But not this one. Like, it's got something fuzzy in it, you know? Like, it, it's not peppery peppery. Like, it doesn't hurt your nose. It's, um, it's got, like, a little, like, a pepper fuzz. But peony, definitely, I smell it. And, like, maybe some citruses. It's very light and airy and like, I love this. I'm really happy with this. Like, whatever, Queen Latifah was kind of a dud, I think, but, but at least this. Banana Republic, Peony, and Peppercorn. Going back in the box. I'm running out of my Shoppers Drug Mart papers for spraying. Uh, okay, next, Aspen. This is for the men's. Um, this is like one of those, I've heard this is one of those like, um, traditional classic, like aromatic fougeres. They said that this is similar to, um, cool water, but more piney. And yeah, like I'm expecting one of those like super classic barbershop scents, which I enjoy. Um, like, I don't know how much I'd wear this, but again, $11, this was $11. So I like to gamble when things are really cheap. Anyway, I'm gonna start cutting these in half. Ah, it's green, the atomizer is green. Yeah, it's nice, it's soapy. It's, you know what? It's like cool water with like some kind of men's soap. But it's like, I like it, you know? It reminds me of something too. Maybe it reminds me of men's aftershaver, like maybe something my dad used to use, but in a good way. You know, it's like that classic man smell. Like that's what it is, like a classic man smell. Like if you're like a basic man in a good way, and you're just a manly man, and you just want like just a man smell, and you want it cheap, like I, I'd go for this for sure. It's the Aspen. I like it. Even for me, I could spray this on clothing out of a shower on like a, a day where I'm like, I'm feeling businessy and sharp, like... I don't know. I could. I think I could pull it off. Next, next, I bought a healing garden set. 
because this also, $11, you guys, $11 is the theme of this episode. This episode may be called $11. I'm joking, it's not going to be called $11. Uh, but anyway, so this is Sensual Plum. And it has the body mist and the lotion and the body wash and a little loofah. And this was $11 because they said that the box is damaged, but like, I'm not seeing the damage. So, so far so good. And I have no idea what this is going to smell like. I think I only ever smelled their tea. They used to have this at Shoppers Drug Mart years ago, but I haven't seen this in ages. And I didn't even know this line still existed. Um, but anyway, yeah. Okay, I'm going to rip this because we still have other fragrances to sample. Plum? I wouldn't know this is plum unless they told me it's plum. I don't know what this is. Like, it's like it smells like a shower gel. Like, I'm going to use the shower gel. Um... I don't know, I'll probably keep this in my car as like a quick psh, 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 like if I feel like I need some freshening up, but that's neither here nor there, like really, like it's whatever, like it's literally whatever. Um, it's all right, like $11 and you get all this stuff plus like a teeny tiny travel loofah, like I'd, I'd buy it again. I mean, I'm not gonna buy it again because I have it already, but like I would still, I would make the same choice again had I known. You guys know what I mean. Anyway. Putting this away. Oh, I see where the damage is. I see where the damaged box is. We're gonna edit that out. Next. Okay. Next. I think this is a freebie because they are giving freebies. And this is, ah, Michel Germain Sexual Noir. It's a rollerball? I don't know. Noir. I wonder what this is like. Okay. Ooh. Well, you know what? This is like a, a sweet. It reminds me of like a Victoria's Secret smell. I don't I can't even pinpoint what's in this, but it's sweet. But like, but nice. And also, yeah, probably Victoria's Secret. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? You know, um, actually, Bath and Body Works used to have the Forever Red with pomegranate. I bet you this has pomegranate in it. I don't know. I don't know if it has pomegranate, but I think I smell pomegranate in this, like a sweet, like a sweet pomegranate. And this was free with your purchase because they're having an anniversary sale and they give you a free fragrance and, a, and it's not free five cents but like basically free so yeah like this is actually kind of nice it's sweet it's very girly it's very like for the younger girls like in your 20s maybe in like your teens like i'll still wear it um i'm not old like i'm not old um yeah i'll wear this but it's like um because it's sweet and i'm not much of a like a sweet fragrance kind of girl. I'll probably wear this in like the really cold days. So that's what it is. And we're moving on. Hmm. Maison Francis Cruz de Jean. Nobody knows how to pronounce this, by the way. Like masculine pluriel. I uh, wonder why they sent masculine. I don't know if that's all they had or maybe they see that I buy men's and women's fragrances. But anyway, let's give it a go. Let's try that again. Hmm. I smell vetiver. Like a lot of vetiver. I don't know if this one has vetiver, but... It has to have vetiver. I smell vetiver. Let's read. Okay. Aha. So it tells you actually inside what's in there. Like I'm mostly smelling the vetiver. A 
foray into the world of eternal masculinity, a modern eau de toilette with multiple variations where wood notes echo one another, cedarwood, patchouli, vetiver, and soft leather resonate with a sublime fougere note built on lavender absolute. Okay. Like, yeah, cedar I smell, patchouli, yeah. Maybe leather, like very soft leather, but honestly for me, mostly vetiver. But it's nice. Like, I... I don't think it maybe is full bottle worthy, but I got this as a free sample, so great. Oh, it's nice. Like, it's good. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So let's go through this again. Make sure I got everything. Yeah, all I have left is popcorn. Peanuts, whatever. So that was my unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.